cannabis is much safer than tobacco, alcohol, and other illegal drugs, according to a study recently published in Scientific Reports. Researchers compared the lethality of 10 commonly used drugs, cannabis, alcohol, tobacco, heroin, cocaine, ecstasy, meth, diazepam, amphetamine, and methadone. They concluded that cannabis is far safer than the other drugs studied, including tobacco and alcohol. In fact, based on the results, scientists say policymakers should prioritize managing the risks of alcohol and tobacco instead of the illicit drugs studied. Of course, these findings won't surprise many people. The statistics have been clear for decades. For example, Tobacco kills about 37,000 Canadians and about 480,000 Americans per year. Worldwide, about 6 million deaths can be directly attributed to tobacco every year. How many people die every year from cannabis use? Oh yes, none. Alcohol, the go-to drug of choice for many lawmakers, kills about 6,700 Canadians and 88,000 Americans each year. Globally, about 3.3 million people die every year from alcohol. In fact, according to the Center for Addiction and Mental Health, alcohol is one of the greatest public health threats in Canada, where residents drink more than 50% above the global average. Again, how many people die from cannabis every year? Zero. What about cocaine and heroin? Those drugs also kill thousands of people in North America every year. Even doctor-prescribed drugs, especially opioid painkillers, kill more than 20,000 Americans annually. In Canada, the numbers are also large, but the government doesn't even keep track of prescription drug deaths, so it's difficult to report an accurate number. What about over-the-counter painkillers? They can't be more harmful than cannabis, right? Acetaminophen, aka Tylenol, has killed hundreds of Canadians and about 1,500 Americans in the past decade. In fact, according to the FDA, taking as little as 25% above the max daily dose for several days can cause liver damage. Moreover, less than four times the max dose taken all at once can be deadly. How many people die from cannabis again? Oh right, it's zero. What about caffeine? The drug is so common, most people don't even call it a drug, nor do they realize it can be deadly. But in large doses, caffeine can be extremely toxic, causing arrhythmia, tachycardia, vomiting, convulsions, coma, and sometimes death. For example, in recent years, 18 Americans have died consuming energy drinks. Clearly, the war on cannabis isn't based on science and reason. Based on the data, cannabis is far safer than other illegal and legal drugs.